Welcome. Well, I've uh, picked up some uh, spare parts from my 1990 Jeep Cherokee with the uh, Renix system. And uh, I figure I would uh, crack these guys open and take a quick look at them and uh, put them back on the shelf. And I'm sure that this is something that's <laughs> not done very often, so we'll record this for uh, future reference. So I have the uh, ECU unit here and I've got the ABS. So they have the very similar modules here, but uh, we'll take a look and uh, see what we got on the inside. So let me just uh, put the ECU off to the side here. And I've got the screws popped on the ABS unit here. So there's uh, four screws on each corner here that uh, need to be removed. They are the uh, Torx bit. don't have the number for you, but uh, that is a bit required. So this probably hasn't been popped in 30 years, this cover here. So it did stick a little bit there. There's a foam backing there. And we have the uh, back of our electronics board. And uh, got those screws out. And the only thing that should be holding it in is just that uh, bracket there. Not sure if I have to pop that screw off. I'm probably going to guess yes. Okay, let me uh, try and uh, remove this. Okay, so uh, I do need a socket here. This is six millimeter remove that bolt there. Beautiful. So that is the ABS module. Looks like brand new. A lot of electronics there for 1990. Not even going to further mess with that. That's in good shape. That's all I wanted to do was pop it off and take a look at it. Uh, it is bought off eBay and uh, no guarantees. So when, when time comes for me to uh, plug it in, I'll know. Okay, I'm going to put this one back together and uh, I'll crack open the uh, ECU as well too. So give me a moment here, I'll put these screws back in and uh, we'll take a look at the ECU. Alright, so we have the ECU here. So 
somebody's done their uh, due diligence and put a little bit of uh, Loctite and maybe somebody's been into this as well too. Okay, this hasn't been uh, opened up in 30 years. Like opening up a time machine, one of those time capsules. Foam backing again. Probably some anti static. Look at that, that looks like brand new, not a speck of dust in there. Like it just came off the assembly line. Same setup as the ABS. Let's take this one out first. So that was a six millimeter. So, yes, the reason why I bought these is uh, spare parts and imp important parts. These are computers, and uh, one of these computers, if this one goes down, uh, you know, vehicle's not going to be moving. I'm sure if the ABS uh, goes out, uh, I'm still operational, but if I want to buy these brand new, uh, good luck, and maybe if I do find $400-ish a piece. So these were bought off eBay you know, in the spring of 2012 for, you know, $100-ish. Jeez! Look at this. Beautiful. That <laughs> looks like brand new. Very similar to the uh, ABS unit. Definitely some computerization going on there. And do have electrolytics. One, two, three, four. Electrolytics do have a lifespan. I'm looking at this one here. This is the 220 40 volt. This one here, 220 at 40 volt. This one here. One hundred. At forty volt, looks like this is a hundred at forty volt. And what are these little ones here? Actually, this one looks uh, distorted. Actually, this one here. This one here looks distorted. It could be defective. That uh, looks like that C3. What's the value on that? Let's try 
trying to get some lighting here. Can't see it. I think this one here is the same value. Actually, yeah, look in there, that's surface mount technology there. SMD 1990. A lot of other discrete components here as well, too, but. Uh, so before I close this up, I'm going to get a uh, magnifying glass and some better light, and I'll report that value. All right, I took it into some better lighting, and uh, these two here are 50 volts, one microfarad, electrolytics. So if uh, there's going to be any vulnerability to uh, this electronics, it's going to be for those four components. Oh, actually, there's another one right in there, another two in there, a couple more in there. Oh, another one there. So if I uh, plug this in and it don't work, I might be replacing uh, four electrolytics there, or four that are obvious, and then there's three here. So a total of uh, oh, two, four, five, total of eight on here. Very interesting. Phoenix 2. I think that was the, um, I don't recall that uh, information, but I remember coming across it on the internet. Phoenix 2. That's a combination of a couple other brand company names, just like uh, Renix. It was Renault and uh, some other company. Okay. Before I uh, put these away, I'm going to uh, spray some contact cleaner in there on those sands. Okay. Let's put, get it right the first time, oh that's outside. Well, there you have it, the disassembly and reassembly of the ECU and ABS from, or for, my 1990 Jeep Cherokee. And uh, these will apply also to uh, 87, 88, and 89 and the 90. I think those are the uh, three, four years of the uh, the Renix years.